Well, Meng Niu Dairy, one of the top dairy companies in China, one of the top 20 dairy brands in the world, has just successfully acquired the Australian organic infant formula maker Bellamy. Earlier today, our colleague Chen Lei sat down with Meng Niu Dairy CEO Jeffrey Liu to discuss the purpose behind this ambitious move. You've recently done two deals in Australia, one and a half billion Aussie dollars for Bellamy's at a significant premium. So mm -hmm. why are you taking such an aggressive stance in acquisitions right now? Um, well, it's a lot of money, uh, obviously. Um, however, it, it's really in line with our uh, global strategy because we are a branded you know, company. You know, if you look at our business, we have very well-known brands in, in China. And this is fundamentally a, a, a fast consumer goods company. So when we look at these two assets, obviously the brand is the first thing that attracts us. Like Bellamy, which is the world leading organic infant formula company, uh, that is really uh, you know uh, what we really a lack of uh, uh, in our portfolio. So that's why it, it matches perfect well. Uh, with the portfolio, with the, the ambition to grow our business in the infant formula. And the brands come from an Australian nature, um, with pure, with nature, is, is, is really, really strong. So that is really the, the most important reason. And what do you make of the mixed reaction we've seen in the Australian media and then from the Australian farmers who are quite happy that this will mean possibly higher prices for them? Well, it, it's basically we said that Australia have a population of 20-something. The consumption in local is actually, you know, not as big as we, if we look back into China and Southeast Asia. And this will bring a lot of growth opportunity for Bellamy itself. And knowing the brand and the, and the company was from Tasmania, the setup, the supply chain, and et cetera, are all in Australia. So having the growth opportunity will definitely bring more uh, opportunity for the supply chain, for the upstream. Is there a uh, bit of a race with Ely to see who can become the 100 billion yuan company? No, I, I think it's not about race, right? It's, it's more that how we look at our future, how we see ourselves, right? Do we want to be one of the most, you know, uh, uh, credible and trusted dairy and nutrition company in the world? Because last time I was you know, talking to my team, I asked them a question. If you take out the brand of menu, you replace with somebody else, is that still working? And we have to think about what's unique. Why menu, right? So I said, first, you have to realizing that we are a young company with 20 years. Why we are success today in, the, in a very short period of time is because we have the menu speed, the China speed, right? The passion, the entrepreneurship where we have, the capability to innovate and also the courage to innovate. What do you think China's dairy upstream sector will look like in the future? First, I think we need to look at the, how the this market is going to look like right? in the future. Today you have an average consumption of 30 kilo uh, per head on dairy product. When you look at the world average, it's probably around 100. So it means that you have three times to grow. Okay, so that, that was a, a very important message, meaning that the local production will have to expand. I always said that the China dairy or nutrition uh, improvement will have a big impact to the goal, global supply chain of dairy, maybe an opportunity to even restructure the total supply chain, where to grow the feeds, where we should grow the cows, how efficient we are. Um, so there will be a reorganizing to a certain extent over the last 10, even 20 years.